Hello folks and a warm welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been th about three weeks I think since I've managed to get my telescope out because we've, uh, we're having an absolutely shocking sort of July this year. June was really uh, hot, warm and clear and July it's done nothing but clouds, rain and, um, and high wind but today it's a, a beautiful clear night and I don't have to be at work till tomorrow afternoon so I can stay up a little bit late. So I'm going to um, grab the opportunity and see what I can get. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime let's crack on with this video. I haven't actually 100% decided what my target's going to be tonight. I'm going to be pointing at my favourite summer constellation, Cygnus, uh, but I don't know whether to go for the area around the star Seder, which was my original plan, or whether to um, go a little bit lower down in the constellation and see if I can get the... Uh, whole of the Vale Nebula complex in one shot, which I've never done before. Uh, I'm going to be using the Ascar FMA 135 sort of mini scope in order to get a wide field of view, which gives me a little bit of a chance to get the um, Vale Nebula complex in, whereas I can't get that um, with my other kit. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll have a little look in half an hour or so and see what what's what. Um, I'm going to be using the Star Adventurer here with my uh, camera and scope stuck on the top of it there uh, but I'll get that fixed once I've done my polar alignment when it's got a little bit darker. So uh, yeah hopefully you'll uh, you'll come along with me this evening. Take the time to dig deep underneath this red heat we could really meet Layers It's time to lose these naysayers We're better off The air will be richer And everything's so much easier Well, as you can see, um, clouds have started to roll in just as I've got set up, which is uh, really annoying. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've abandoned any idea of doing the Veil Nebula because I'm just not going to get enough exposure time in. So I'm just going to set everything rolling around the Star Seder with the hope of getting some nebulosity and a bit of the Milky Way around there. Um, so even if I only end up with 20 minutes worth of exposure time at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to let it all fire away now and um, see what happens. Well, folks, a few days has gone by now and I've had the chance to process my pictures, um, ably assisted by uh, Pebbles, one of our cats. Uh, he couldn't help but get involved and tread all over the computer while I was doing it. Um, but yeah, as you'll have seen from the um, time lapse that I did, clouds were coming and going all night long. And no sooner had I uh, got set up and it started to cloud over. And then 10, 15 minutes later, it would be clear. The first shot that I took was actually on the um, Veil Nebula complex. The only thing is it's only got one shot and then it clouded over. 
So I kind of abandoned the idea of the Veil Nebula because I'd need quite a lot of shots in order to extract anything out of that picture. So I, uh, I settled for the safe bet, which was the area around the star Seder. Now, uh, we've been, over the last few videos, gradually working my way across a wide field shot that I took of the entire region. I think just using a DSLR and a 50mm lens. And Seder is towards the right hand end of that wide field shot. It's a, a very good area for catching lots of nebulosity and you, you don't need a huge amount of, uh, of total integration time to get something nice out of it, which is why I figured that's what I'd go for. In the end, I was out for about three hours. I packed in around one o'clock. But when I actually looked at all the images that I took, I only had like an hour's worth of usable image. I was taking 90 cent second uh, shots to make up that one hour and uh, the reason behind that because I could have gone for longer with with this kit was um, it would reduce the chances of an individual shot being ruined by cloud whereas a, a longer exposure I'd stood better chance of cloud coming in and also it's still uh, very light in the evenings so much longer than that and my images were getting washed out. I was very pleased with what the camera and the Ascar FMA would bring out and um, yeah I find it astonishing really that something with such a small uh, lens I think it's something like 32 millimeters uh, can capture so much good stuff and um, the image that I got in the end I was pretty pleased with lots of different colored stars oranges reds blues white so that was really good lots of uh, red nebulosity even though this camera is not a modified camera it still picked up a lot of the nebulosity and there was a few kind of nice little interesting features in there uh, the shot picked up the crescent nebula which is what i was hoping for uh, and that showed up really nicely. It also brought out uh, Messier 29, I think it is, which is a, um, a very small open star cluster. Um, I think it's otherwise known as the, the cooling tower cluster because the, the shape of the stars in the uh, object forms like the shape of one of these big cooling towers that you see. And I also picked up the Butterfly Nebula, or there's actually two Butterfly Nebulas. The, the, there's one in Cygnus and one in Scorpius, I think. Um, uh, basically, this is a red splodge of nebulosity with a kind of black, dark nebula running down the middle of it. And the, uh, the, the dark nebula looks like the, the body of a butterfly. And the... Um, red splodge that's now been bisected into two you, you can see like the two wings of the butterfly there so um so that came out kind of really nicely so it would have been nice to have got more integration time but i'm sort of quite happy with um with what i got considering the weather's so bad um even today it's just been raining in the last five minutes while i've been talking and now behind me uh, i can see the sun's come out again so yeah, it's that kind of weather at the moment. And there's even more rain coming down, even though there's blue sky behind me. Uh, so I'm going to put the picture up in a tick. I'm hoping to have a go at the Veil Nebula, either with my bigger setup or this, this same one again. I'm going to wait for the sky to get a little bit darker in August because then I'll stand more chance of getting something out of that session. But yeah, so for now I'm going to put the Seder region up and I'll bid you cheerio and I hope you like the picture. Mm -hmm.